Good morning. I, I feel like I start a lot of these videos off early in the morning. We are going to get some work done today. We have one day of just straight beautiful weather. The wind isn't going to pick up till later this afternoon. So I'm gonna get my butt moving and try to get the majority of like everything big and painting wise that I need to get done. So right here, we have the trailer pretty much finished over here. I think it looks good. I put a couple of coats on it last night to make sure it was 100%. So it's been drying for about 15 hours at this point. So we're gonna take it out here, set it up on the horses, and we're gonna get the clear coat on it. From there, we're gonna be sanding down a couple other things, getting those repainted, and we're working on the boat. We're finally getting to attacking the boat. The next step we have is just getting the boat completely sanded down and then JB welded or epoxied to make sure this sucker never leaks. We're gonna try and do less talking today and more working. So let's get the trailer out and clear coat it, baby. Currently, I'm sanding these two pieces down. It's essentially that piece that sits like this, and uh, or like this, I mean. And it's used for when you crank the boat up onto the bow wheel. I don't really know the terminology for it, but this guy looks rusty, crappy. We got paint flakes right here. So we're gonna sand this guy down. I'm actually using an 80 grit sanding wheel for the grinder this time. The reason I'm doing that is just because my buddy recommended me to try it and he gave me one for free. So if it saves me money and it works, then we're good to go. So we're gonna try this thing out and see how that works. And then we gotta paint and prime these afterward. Finished product, looks pretty dang good. So we're gonna go ahead and get a coat of primer on those but right now since the sun's finally warmed up and the trailer's kind of you know warmed up a bit we're gonna try and get the clear coat on this main trailer right here so I'm gonna wipe it down real quick and I just start spraying the clear coat on there I bought some uh, rust-oleum crystal clear enamel I'm trying to do this again because it's going in water so I don't know I pretty much stuck to enamel for the majority of this project but we're gonna try this stuff out do the whole dang can on there and we're gonna do it like a coat every 10 minutes pretty much. I didn't really time lapse this but I feel like it's kind of repetitive, so you get the point. Primed this piece after it was sanded, and now it's painted, primed and painted. We have about a full can, for the most part, of clear coat on the trailer itself. So it, it was about three coatings. Everything that I used on it was enamel, so it should be pretty heavy duty. At the end of the day, it is spray paint, so it's not gonna be the strongest thing ever, but it should hold a decent paint job. Alrighty guys, so we have the boat out here on horses. I have my dad's craftsman sheet sander right here. So what I'm going to be doing, as you can tell, I already tested it, but I'm taking 400 grit sandpaper. We're just gonna lightly sand the whole boat. We're not trying to take the entire paint coat off. I'm just trying to get it smoothed out so we can put some fresh primer on there, then be able to paint it afterward. So once we get this whole thing sanded down, there's a few things that I need to fix as far as leaks go. I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to tackle those things. We're pretty much going to have to go through a trial and error type thing. Like I'm going to have to sand this down, fix the leaks, and then water test it again before we can actually get it painted. So let's get this thing sanded. Done deal. Took me about three hours, but we got her sanded down. These darker parts, they look like there's still paint on it, but it's actually just water because I hosed it down afterward. But oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I did the whole boat except for the back. Well, 
Son of a gun. Oh, that's a damper on my day. Either way, I'm calling it a day for the for the working on the boat. I'm gonna, we'll, we'll pick this back up tomorrow. It's currently a day later from the last time I was sanding this. I try to get it as clean as I possibly can, but it's really about as good as it's gonna get. I tried and tried and tried to get it pretty clean just so when I put like the glue and the epoxy on there that it sticks really well, but I don't think we're gonna get all the way down to the bare metal. And plus, I don't wanna damage the integrity of the actual aluminum or anything like that. I don't wanna cause more problems. So although this could be expensive if it doesn't work, we're gonna go ahead and send it. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna clean up the boat. I'm gonna power wash it down. We're gonna get it dried off. And then we're gonna be filling all of the seals with Marine Weld by JB Weld. This is some powerful stuff. My last gem boat that I made, I pretty much did the same thing. Couldn't get it as clean as I could, and I just went ahead and smashed it on there, and that stuff pretty much waterproofed it for the most part. JB Weld, I will stand behind, is some crazy strong stuff, and it sticks to just about anything. I don't think I'm gonna be able to work on the boat anymore today because the epoxy has to dry, and then once it does dry, I do wanna sand it down in spots. So we're just gonna get some epoxy on this, and Guys, the trailer's pretty much done. We're gonna start putting the trailer back together. I'm really excited. We got lights and all kinds of things. So let's get this thing epoxied and cleaned up. I'll show you exactly what I did when I'm done. And uh, then we're gonna start putting the trailer together. Okay, so now we're gonna get to putting on the JB Weld. I sprayed the boat down and obviously the boat isn't 100% dry yet. But what we're gonna be doing here to prep the surface to be able to put the JB Weld in is I'm gonna be taking a sanding block, a flathead screwdriver, and a vacuum to clean it the best that I can. So what I'm essentially doing here is all these rivets right here, like this lining, where the aluminum like folds over or overlaps, that's where the leaks were coming from. So I'm just gonna go above and beyond and seal the whole entire thing. Now there's a little bit of a separation. The reason I have the boat leaned the way it is is so when I put the epoxy in there, it just stays sitting where I need it to stay. And hopefully it doesn't drip too far. I'm gonna try and angle it just so it stops. If you have a wire brush, it's probably better to do this, but I didn't have one. What I do here is I'm gonna be taking the corner of this. This is an 80 grit sanding block. I'm gonna sand it down real good and then after I'm gonna go through it with the flathead screwdriver with the vacuum so that it sucks up all those you know rust pieces or those flaky pieces of paint things like that just so I can have somewhat of a clean surface so I'm basically just going like this doing that then I'll turn the vacuum on and just do And that essentially is just gonna get my, my surface pretty good so that I can put the epoxy on there. So we gotta do the whole part and then we're gonna do the epoxy. We're gonna take a blowtorch and lightly hit the side just to make sure everything is dry. Good thing about this JB Weld Marine Aluminum, I don't know, I know the sun's kinda harsh, but this epoxy, you can apply it literally in the water and things like that. So that's what's cool about this, but I just like to heat up the surface get it a little dry. Essentially what this is, it's like a mini syringe. It's a two-step epoxy. You just squirt a little bit into something and then you take the popsicle stick that it comes with and you mix it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this real well. Make sure I really knead this together. And uh, it dries pretty quick, supposedly. So I usually use the putty. This, this is like the second time I'm using the epoxy, but the first time I used it, it worked really well. So I'm gonna make sure that this area is this stuff in there. Look at that. Boom. We got that done, but we're gonna pause on the boat for now since it's only about 40 degrees today and uh, anything like paint related or glue related isn't gonna bond or really dry as well so we're gonna start putting the trailer back together i have it completely finished everything's been clear coated everything's been painted so if we come into the garage i cleared it out a little bit so we could start getting this guy back together here she is looking great 
I gotta start putting it together just because like I don't know what new bolts I'm going to need. I know there's a lot of stuff that broke in the process of taking it apart. So we're just gonna start putting it back together and then obviously as I need to put parts on, we're gonna see if I gotta go out and get bolts, if I'm gonna be able to reuse the ones that I have. But first things first, we're going to put the axle and the tongue back on or the big long yeah i'm gonna call it the tongue i think that's what it's called right guys i don't know we're gonna put this thing back together piece by piece and then i'll update you guys as we go but i'm excited to finally see this thing start coming back together Okay, she's back together. Well, the frame is back together. I wouldn't say the whole thing's back together yet, but it is looking pretty good. I'm very happy with the turnout on the paint. I did spend an awful lot of time on the trailer itself. I wanted it to look nice. To be honest with you, I hate the color yellow, so I really wanted to get rid of that. And unfortunately, I spent more money on the trailer itself than I planned, but that's okay. So here we go. It's done. Right now I'm about to run to the hardware store and get a coupler for it. The a coupler, I think that's how it's pronounced. That's that piece that goes onto the hitch or allows the trailer to connect to the hitch. It came with a one and a quarter inch coupler or, or ball head for the most part. You know, that's fine. I have a hitch that fits it, but I thought about it. And since my big boat is a two inch hitch, I figured I might as well just convert them both because I rather just have one two inch ball that works for all my trailers rather than have to remember to switch out the hitch every single time I want to switch between boats. So we're going to go to the hardware store and see if we can find one of those. They are cheap on Amazon, but if I can find one at the store for a reasonable price, then, you know, maybe one or two more dollars more, I'm going to go get it. The other thing I need to do is just get some washers and bolts. I currently spray down the wheels, like the bow wheels for the boat. I think that's what they're called. Guys, I'm so bad with terminology. I apologize. You know what I'm talking about. I, I have a boat, basically. <laughs> like, I've had a boat for a few years. I've never rebuilt one. This is my first, like, full-on rebuild as far as trailers go. So I'm learning everything. Everything that I'm doing is completely self-taught with the help of a few YouTube videos. But most of the hardware on this trailer is milk toast. So... We're gonna go ahead and go try and match that up at the hardware store and get some new ones. And then we're gonna continue to put the rest together. I think today my goal is to get the main base of the trailer connected along with the trailer lights. I'm not gonna get the wiring done today, but we're gonna try and get the lights done. The goal is to get this coupler on. We found one for 25 bucks at Ace Hardware, so we're gonna add that to the budget list. Then we got all our lighting. But if you guys were curious, I'm gonna link everything down below at the end of the video once the whole boat is built. But I bought this uh, trailer light kit for like 25 bucks on Amazon. It came with a license plate holder, every light you could possibly need, reflectors, bolts, wiring harnesses, you name it. So I got a really good deal on that. I'm happy about that. The brake light itself is a little unproportional. It's kind of huge, but whatever, who cares? No one's gonna judge me for the size of my brake lights, you know? So on top of that, we got a bunch of nuts and bolts to put some other things on. So let's just get the trailer rigged up. some of the stuff is done but it's been tough so to show you guys real quick running lights are on and they look really good we got that guy bolted on there we got this guy on here then as we come around back I got one of the brake lights on so as you guys can see right here <clears throat> boom freshy on there but this side has been a stubborn sucker. We're gonna take a break and we're gonna just stop the video here. I gotta figure something out. I've tried everything. I cannot get holes drilled in this part of the trailer for the life of me. I don't know what the deal is. If any of you guys have an answer, please leave a comment down below. I'm pretty familiar with drilling in steel. I am using steel drill bits. I am lubricating it with oil and stuff like that. I am trying to drill slow. I know I time lapse everything, so it probably looks like I'm drilling really fast, but I am trying to keep it somewhat gradual because I know you don't want to heat up steel when you're trying to drill through it. And uh, I don't know, I've tried a, probably five or six different drill bits. I have a whole thing of drill bits right here. So it's not like 
you know, I've been using the same one and it's doled out now. I really don't know what the deal is. So I actually called my dad up. He's going to be coming over tonight and trying to help me figure this trailer out. But I got to get this video uploaded so we will have an update and hopefully a fully put together trailer when we come back here. Hopefully dad comes and saves the day. My dad's a handyman. He knows a lot more than I do about this stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching this part of the build. If you want to stay up to date with all the parts of me building this boat, just hit that subscribe button for me. I appreciate every single one of you guys viewing. Please leave me a comment. I love talking with you guys. And hey, I will see you next time.